very uh, powerful. Another film in which Song Kang Ho appears, but I want to ask you about the woman who, the actress who plays the mother, um, who, uh, Kim Hai Ja, who you have said, quote, I wrote the character for her. If she said no, the movie would not have been made, close quote. Why was she so important to making this? 그, 그분이 단순히 어떤 위대한 배우다라는 존재를 넘어서 한국에서는 되게 아이코닉한 존재였어요. 그러니까 뭐 이렇게 흔히 국민 엄마라는 말을 쓰는, 뭐 어떻게 번역해야 될지 모르지만 어쨌든 국민 엄마예요. 말 그대로. 예. 그래서 저 분, 저 배우 자체가 엄마를 되게 상징해요. 예. 모성을 상정, 상징하기도 하고 그런데 그 부분을 어떻게 보면은 예, 되게 새롭게 파헤쳐 보고 싶었던 거죠. 그래서 저 배우 때문에 사실 영화를 기획하고 스토리를 제가 쓰게 된 거거든요. 그러니까 만약에 저분이 이 영화를 안 한다고 하시면 뭐 그럼 뭐 다른 플랜 B, 플랜 C가 있고 이런 게 전혀 아니었어요. 그냥 저분 때문에 찍으려 했던 영화니까. So more than just being a great actor, Kim Hyeja is quite an icon in Korea. She's sort of the nation's mother. She symbolizes um, motherhood of you know the nation. And so I really wanted to explore this, um, delve deeper into this actor and present her in a new light. It, it was actually because of her that I came up with this story and with this project. It wasn't as if I had other actors in mind if she refused the role. It was because of her that I did this film. To sort of subvert the image that everyone had of her before, is that the idea? The that you know people assume that she, because she's played a lot of mothers, because they think of her as a mother, that you can show her in a in a different way. Mm. 길을 가다 저 배우를 마주치면 진짜 나도 모르게 내 입에서 엄마 이런 소리가 나오게 될 법한 분이었거든요. 근데 그 모성이라는 것이 어두운 집착으로까지 이제 파고들게 되면은 변질되게 되면은 어떤 극한적인 상황까지 가게 되나 모성이라고 하면 항상 아름답고 이렇게 따뜻한 것으로만 생각하는데 때로는 그렇지 않을 수도 있다라는 되게 어떤 다크한 스토리를 만들게 됐던 거죠. So she sort of represents the most generous and giving and warm mother. Uh, she's always played these mother characters that can do anything for their children. It's like if you walk on the streets and you run into her, you unknowingly just call her mother. That's how much she represented that motherly figure. Um, but with the story, I really wanted to explore the dark aspects of motherhood, how motherhood, which is seemingly warm and generous, um, can turn into a dark obsession and the extreme situations that can happen when motherhood takes a dark turn. Um, and that, that was sort of the dark story that I uh, wanted to explore with this film. Great movie. And uh one, the last one until Parasite that you made in exclusively in Korean, uh, on, on, in Korea and in the language. So um, what we are going to do now is look at your first, a scene from your first English language project, which involved both um, Korean actors like Mr. Song and some Hollywood actors who people will recognize. That is Snowpiercer from 2013, which is a movie about um, sort of a, imagining a post-apocalyptic, post, -apocalyptic, post um, basically we've tried to combat climate change. We messed up doing it. The world has kind of uh, been thrown into a uh, ice age. And the only people who are left are on a train that is going. So let's look at Snowpiercer. <laughs> 